Hey guys, Joe Tunney here at Infinity of Kirkland in Kirkland, Washington, just outside of Seattle. Now, if you're anything like me, you might be asking yourself, why in the world would Infinity change the name of a car that just came out last year? Well, the reason is, is that the gentleman who ran Audi for many years and rebranded uh, Audi completely, actually, and gave kind of a, a similar uh, family name to all of their product lineup, is now the president of Infiniti. And so the, he's decided to change all the names of all of our Infiniti vehicles so that they kind of share a similar core concept. So all of our uh, cars, which were formerly known as, say, the G37 and G37 Coupe, are now called the Q50 and Q60 and our crossovers and sport utilities like the former JX35, now called the QX60, the former uh, QX56 is called the QX80, and so on and so forth. Now, this car is uh, no changes at all, actually, in 2014, which may sound like a bad thing, but it's actually a wonderful thing if you're an Infiniti dealer, because this has been an absolute home run for Infiniti, and just a great, great, great car for Infiniti dealers. So we didn't want any changes of any kind, because it's such a hot seller, and so no changes is actually really good for us. Now, this particular color is called Diamond Slate. Now, this is the most popular color that you can get, the former JX35 and the all-new QX60 in, and it is a great color. The uh, little whispers of blue with lots of gunmetal gray. Come take a look around. This one's fully accessorized with 20-inch uh, wheels, so they do give it that nice uh, fill-in-the-wheel-well type of look. And then one thing you'll also discover on the fenders, they mention the displacement, which is just the uh, size of the engine, and it uh, fixes it right there on the fender. These are removable as well, and so I'd be honest with you, if this was my car, uh, I would have this off of the car. I don't really like the way that it looks. But if you like the way that it looks, it's already there, and if you don't, it comes right off. Taking a look inside, the interior on the QX60 and the former JX35 is simply the best in class. It's very, very posh very luxurious the two-tone piping on the seats that great looking maple wood it's very very elegant lots of neat electronics the gauges are cool the navigation is extremely intuitive and simple if you're uh, if you find a lot of the new technologies that are available in cars a bit daunting well this is definitely the car for you because it's really easy to uh, navigate your way through all this stuff even if you're uh, kind of a neophyte at all this uh, new technology however if you're really sophisticated and streaming bluetooth is something that is a total deal breaker if it doesn't have it and all these new electronic technologies are just second nature for you well everything inside the qx60 is uh, simply best in class it's the newest of all the sport utilities on the market and the, uh, therefore has a, a definitely a cut above in pretty much every single area that, it, that there is. Also, if you notice on these mirrors, you have these little bumps right here. These are actually cameras, and so then there's cameras in the front as well. So that if, uh, if I put it in reverse, instead of seeing just behind the car, I have a bird's eye 360 degree view around the entire perimeter of the new uh, QX60. And so if I'm in the garage and something's falling over and maybe it's underneath the uh, front right wheel, well, of course, I would never know that on a conventional rear camera setup. But on this, I see everything. Taking a look in the back, and this is where the, uh, the distance between the JX and now the QX60 and all of its competitors uh, really starts to separate, is the space. There's just so much more room in the second and third rows in the QX60 than there is in anything else in this category that it's hard to compare them to anything else. Full-size adults not only are uh, welcome in the third row seat, they're actually very, very comfortable in the third row seat. There's really gobs of space in this. Now this one has just come off the truck, and so all of the uh, electronic components have not been set up yet. Normally this would just be a power operating uh, uh, hatch, but the, uh, until it goes through its setup, it's a uh, manual operation. One big note on this, though, is that even with the third row seat up, you actually have way more storage than you do on pretty much every other uh, third row seat crossover that there is. Most third row seat crossovers, the third row seat really comes all the way back to the bumper almost. They just don't have this kind of room in the back. Then you have a secondary storage compartment that's actually very deep and will accommodate a lot of goodies. This particular car has the Bose Acoustic Wave stereo, so you have that subwoofer back there as well. And the stereo in this car is simply marvelous. Now, another feature while we're looking at the back side here is this does have the backup collision uh, intervention feature. And so how that works is that 
in sync with those rear cameras and all these parking sensors. If you're at the grocery store, for example, and it's hard to see if anybody's kind of coming across in the back there, when you back up, you kind of stick your rear end out into traffic without necessarily knowing if anyone's coming by. And it's a very common accident to see is those parking lot accidents. Also, if you've seen the commercials, you'll see where the car's kind of backing out of the driveway and a kid's riding by on his uh, big wheel there on the sidewalk. And there's just no way the driver would know that that kid was there. So how the collision intervention works is not only is it looking straight back, but it's also looking down the sides. And so if it sees anything's coming towards the car that's going to broadside it, while you're backing up, it'll automatically hit the brakes just like that. And you don't even know what happened. Your foot's on the gas. It hits the brakes for you and comes to a stop. So you don't put yourself into a situation that you didn't even realize that you were putting yourself into. Again, tons of space in the back. You have that great theater package with dual headrest monitors. And so in the old days, you know, you'd see those kind of flip down monitors that would come down from the ceiling. But really, what the problem with that is, as soon as you put that monitor down, just imagine yourself as the driver here. As soon as you look over your right shoulder, you're looking right at the back of that drop-down monitor. It's uh, something that's a, a safety problem that I'm surprised that they even allowed in vehicles. But going with the dual headrest monitors, not only does it give you two instead of one, it's just a much safer and a much more intelligent way to go. Let's take a look inside. Now, here's where you want to be. Everything about the front seats of this car is best in class. They're very luxurious, they're wide, they accommodate, doesn't matter if you're six feet tall, doesn't matter if you're six foot five. You have all the room in the world in these uh, former JX35, new QX60. And so the maple is gorgeous. Everything is very intelligently laid out, very simple, uh, just like all of our Infinities. And most Japanese cars in general, to be honest with you, they tend to be pretty simple and straightforward. And then the quality is particularly strong. Same goes with the, with the QX60. Quality is fabulous. The fit and finish is outstanding. And then lots of power, lots of everything. And there's just really nothing you can fault with the new QX60. It's just a comfortable, stylish, new, nobody else in your neighborhood has one vehicle for your 60,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty from Infinity, six year 70,000 mile powertrain warranty from Infinity. They're very, very nice. If you have any questions about this particular vehicle or anything that we have here at Infinity of Kirkland, please don't hesitate to give me a call anytime. My name is Joe Tunney, I'm the sales manager here at Infinity of Kirkland. You can call me anytime at 425-821-1600 or just drop me an email at joet at infinityofkirkland.com. Chris, to your desk, please. Chris, to your desk.